Hey friends, welcome on board. This is Jay Arthur and I'm making this presentation on behalf of retirementtransformation.com and in this presentation I'm talking about too much diversification can be dangerous for your portfolio. This is our presentation which is part of our financial tip for retirement series. So follow this important financial strategy to bring miracles in your life. So why diversification? Well, you can uh, read numerous books on this, but I'm going to give you in just one line. And that's the basic purpose of diversification is to reduce risk. Period. Nothing else. You can read as many books as you want, but that's the basic intent of diversification. Now, the, you must be wondering what kind of risk I'm talking about. There are actually two types of risk. Again, you can read as many books as you want on this. Number one is macro risk and number two is micro risk. So what's a macro risk? So macro risks are systematic concerns that can affect all stocks negatively. No matter what, all kind of stocks are impacted. And the the reasons we, you know, for, for the macro risk are either there is a recession or a military conflict or inflation or very high interest rate or combination of any of that. It's beyond basically uh, any company's control or any specific geographical area's control. It, it could be widespread and uh, even some of these uh, recent changes which are happening you know even that recent uh, almost like near recession uh, has impacted all majority of the stocks because that's the macro risk everybody gets impacted now the micro risk is something which applies only to a single company or a number of related companies so it could be very specific area let's say uh, suddenly you see that uh, the gold stocks goes down because uh, the currency is strong and nobody is basically buying gold and it starts going down and then when currencies are weak the gold stocks starts going up because everybody wants to uh, buy the gold to uh, to protect themselves against the weaker currencies so uh, it's a very specific segment very specific market and in some cases, just one company could be impacted because of something which is happening in their own area, you know, in their own sandbox. So that's the micro risk. Now, holding a number of different stock positions cannot protect you against the macro risk, but it can certainly help protect you from the micro risk. I hope you got the message here. If everything is impacted, you really cannot protect yourself against the macro risk. The only way to protect yourself against macro risk is that you buy some of the other kind of investments like gold and all of those kind of things, precious metals or the commodities and all that to to uh, to diversify to that extent, but that's beyond this presentation. But you can certainly protect yourself against a micro risk because if one company is going down your other stocks might be going up so overall it might be okay for you to to maintain that portfolio so how much just diversification is really needed 10 stocks 30 stocks 100 stocks or more well too much diversification can limit return potential as it's very difficult to pick a lot of big winners in the stock market. And I'm going to explain this to you why this becomes a problem. Uh, I hope you know about Warren Buffett. He's the uh, very respected and widely recognized as the world's best investor. Has repeatedly stated his opinion that knowledgeable investors, remember with the word knowledgeable, knowledgeable investors should concentrate their investments in no more than 20 positions. A guy who is running a business worth billions and billions and billions and billions dollars is talking about not more than 20 positions. Why? Because he knows too much diversification can be dangerous 
for your portfolio. But if you start to over diversify, you know what's happened? What's happening in that case? You will end up with the performance of an index fund. But you'll be paying the higher costs associated with the managed funds. Why? Because as the funds are switched, you're paying the cost, the transaction cost, the entry load, the exit load, or whatever it is, whatever the uh, kind of uh, administration costs or what are there, you're paying all of that. And worst of all, you may get more short-term volatility. So it will be riskier than the index fund. So remember, I, I always say this and I have even done a video on this, which is bonds versus stocks model. I said over there, a mix of a stable fixed income investments and stocks is a key ingredient to working toward meeting long-term financial goals. And I also gave you the asset uh, allocation portfolio models in another video. These are the four models I shared over, over there. And I said why you need to balance it out. At the end, balancing is the key. You, whatever you do, everything is all about balancing. So make sure you balance your portfolio. Make sure you balance bonds versus stocks. Make sure you don't over diversify. You balance the your diversification. And remember, this small changes in life at the right time can make big difference. So don't forget to plan for your retirement with the comprehensive retirement planning. Because that can make the big difference. So develop your comprehensive retirement plan with the Wheel of Retirement Life Planning process. And you can do it because with the help of this the Wheel of Retirement tool, you can develop your comprehensive retirement plan. Well, this is a watch out for you. If you're planning, plan for your retirement logically and not emotionally. And you can avoid this trap with the help of the wheel of the retirement life. So, comprehensive retirement planning is the first step for a better retirement life. Have you taken that step? Do that, that now because you need to take that first step. So if you like this video and you want to know more about the retirement planning and retirement planning tips, all kind of videos, plenty of information, and majority of that is free, go to retirementtransformation.com slash blog. So what you have to do now, take action now and go there, check it out. And with that, I want to say thank you very much for watching.